be a little too violent for kids your age. How about we watch something more family friendly? Mm, uh -uh. Ah. This one's cute. What do you think, boys? Uh, I'm the unapologetic Canadian and I'm sorry I keep bringing up Bambi. Look at that cute little lamb. Who'd have thought that behind such a sweet smile would be something so... dark? Well... They don't make them like they used to. Ringing Bell is the 1978 anime adaptation based on the book Chirin no Suzu by Takashi Yanase. The film itself was produced by Sanrio, and if the name Sanrio doesn't ring any bells, you've definitely seen their work, from Hello Kitty to Agretsuko to all these guys in between. When it comes to adorable character designs, you'd be hard pressed to find any studio that comes close. An adorable little Chirin is, once you get over the fact that he has a human face. But then again, here's what he looked like in the book. While on the topic of character designs, it is interesting to note that the director of this film, Masami Hata, and the key animator, Shigeru Yamamoto, both worked as key animators on the first Unico movie. And if that weren't a weird enough connection, both the dub version of Chirin and Unico are voiced by Barbara Goodson, the voice of Rita Repulsa herself. <laughs> both the English and Japanese versions of this movie have their own respective audio issues. Like for instance, the Japanese version will have a lot of quiet moments, even in places where you think there would be sound. I will, however, take that over the tonal issues of the dub, but we'll get into those soon enough. Chirin is a playful baby lamb who lives an idyllic life in a meadow with his mama sheep. Love is a song that never ends. No more Bambi references. This paradise, of course, is not without its hazards, as Mama Sheep here warns Chirin of the dangers beyond the fence. You see that mountain? Uh-huh. That's where the Wolf King lives, and his favorite food is baby lamb. Oh, yeah. Chirin, being the carefree little babby that he is, decides not to take much heed, as he would much rather participate in some awkward ad-libbing with this rabbit that has the same voice as him. Boo. Oh, I love Clover. Are you listening? Yup, yup. Are you starting to see my problem with this dub? Not a single minute goes by where we don't have some weird ad-libbing shoved in to keep the kids' attention. Cause you know, kids are stupid and silence is just a concept they can't wrap their squishy little heads around. Take this scene for example, where Turin's mom looks for him after he's run off. <laughs> you been doing staying out past dark mm -hmm. you had me worried half to death sometimes you really disappoint me and after I just warned you about the wolf king sorry <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. 
picture him. You're still my favorite little boy. Now I ask, which version has more punch? The English version? Way too much unnecessary dialogue, and Mama Sheep is way too easy on Chirin after she finds him. The Japanese version, it's atmospheric, it lets the scene breathe, it shows without telling the viewer what's going on. Also, Chirin's mom gives him an actual scolding before she breaks down. Now, I have to give credit where credit is due. I do appreciate that the dub stayed faithful to the original songs, because the music in Turin is really good. I will say, however, that the dub singer kind of sounds like he's drunk and lives inside a tin can. So things continue peacefully as before, until one night. Such anime, very bishy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like Mama Sheep's Darth Vader esque. <laughs> in this scene, <laughs> you know, in case it wasn't dramatic enough. Mama? What's wrong, Mama? Huh? Why won't you get up? I might have banned the Bambi references prematurely. Did the wolf hurt you, Mama? I learned my lesson. I'll stay away from the wolf. Mama, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Mama, you can't be dead. You just can't be. <laughs> Mama! Mama! <laughs> his mother's death at the hand. Jaws of the wolf, Trin sets off up the mountain on his quest for revenge. Oh, I'm going to kill you! Uh, I mean it! Uh, oh. I hate you! And no one ever saw Chirin again. I'm kidding, he's fine. He just needs to try a new approach. Wolf? All right, I've decided to be your apprentice and learn to be strong just as if I were a real wolf like you. What? I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble understanding here. I think I'm gonna need a diagram for this.
looks like a natural progression. Of course, the Wolf King isn't having any of this. Do me a favor, go back to your meadow and get fat, and in a couple of months I'll have you for dinner. But I want to be like you! Look, how does this sound? If things don't work out, feel free to go ahead and eat me! No hard feelings! Mm. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. Oh, you think I'm just fooling around, but I'm serious! Hmm. Pest. Alright, go ahead and be that way! You'll see, I'm gonna show you how much I want to be a wolf! And with that dramatic zoom, Chirin begins his adorable hunt. saw Chirin again. Until these weasels decided to play grab ass with them. This isn't going well for little Chirin. I wonder how Senpai's doing. Well, Pipsqueak, now that you've seen what it's like to be a wolf, go back to your meadow where you belong. Chirin, however, is not deterred by this, because damn it, he's gonna become fierce. ever saw Chirin again. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll follow wherever you go. I'm never going to give up. <gasps> and so, Chirin continues his search for the wolf, alone and heavy-hearted. But hey! You don't need me to overly explain what you're seeing. The dub narrator does a fine job of that. Sometimes he saw things that reminded him of his home. But he went on. Through the forest. Through the meadows. What? No, through the caves? How am I supposed to know where we are now? Fatality. So, with the mama bird dead, it's up to Chirin to save the eggs from this weird sounding snake. But seriously, why does every other animal in this movie sound like my VCR with a tape stuck in it? So the wolf returns, coming across the lamenting lamb, and his curiosity gets the better of him. Why do you want to become a wolf? I couldn't stand it. <laughs> they all just sat there in the pasture, too scared to go past the fence, too scared to do anything. 
I don't want to be killed. I want to be strong. <laughs> oh. Cry and let the anger Let the hate flow through you. It's the only way that you're going to grow fangs. What's that? Life deals out few things besides pain, but from that pain you'll grow sharp, strong fangs, though they may not be the kind you can see. See, kids? It's not the fangs on the outside that matter. It's the fangs in your heart. Then I will teach you how to live the life of a wolf. But it won't be easy, Pipsqueak. Uh -huh. For the world I live in is a hell where death is always close by. Damn, Senpai is badass. Soldier boy, tell. No, no, no. If I'm gonna sit through this montage, I'm gonna do it with some decent music. Getting strong now, won't be long now, till I'm the strongest one of all. I said decent. Jama Suda, Jama Suda, Jama Suda, Jama Suda, Trin soon takes to training and becomes a fierce little fighter. He fights trees, bears, p uh, panthers, and he soon grows into a vicious killing machine, a creature that is neither wolf nor ram. Together, he and the wolf terrorize the countryside until the day finally comes when he can match the wolf's strength. So then, Wolf, I am no longer a weakling sheep. Instead of fangs, I have horns which are just as sharp. My hooves are harder than the rock, and it has become my nature to fight without fear of death. I am proud of you, Chirin. You are a fine warrior. Even I could not turn you aside. I owe it all to you. My goal was to overcome you. The only thing I wanted was strength, so I could strike down the enemy who had killed my mother. Oh yeah, time for a showdown. Living on this mountain has changed the way I think about life. And about you. For now I think of you as a father. You killed my mom. Being my senpai. You're my dad now. And if the world you live in is a hell, then I'm willing to live there with you. I love it. Look out there. The forest, the mountains and plains. It's there for us. All of it. Look, Simba. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. Oh, I see. First Kimba, and now Chirin. I'm watching you, Disney. But just like in the last act of The Lion King, it's time for Chirin to return home and save the Pride Lands. A number of German shepherds protect the barn. They'll try to stop us from getting in. You'll have to kill all of them. Then we'll go in and kill the sheep. Or not! <laughs> So after violently dispatching those guard dogs, Trin makes his way to the barn and the cowering flock, unflinching in his purpose and willingness to kill. Until... Mama! 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 Oh no, my baby! Oh no! Unable to bring himself to kill any of the sheep, Chirin leaves the barn, where Daddy comes to give him a stern talking to. I knew you wouldn't be able to do it. This is the last thing I'll teach you. Killing sheep is something even a weakling can do. No! Oh. No, you can't go! Ah! Are you out of your mind, Pipsqueak? Uh -huh. uh -huh. I 
am a ram! You know, Churin, I'm getting pretty sick of this identity crisis of yours. Now calm down before somebody gets hurt. Chirin has saved them from the wolf, they welcome him back into the fold with open arms. Or not. Instead, they lock him out, even though they know it's Chirin because of the bell around his neck. The hell? Wake up, sheeple! With nowhere else to go, Churin retreats back into the mountains, having now not only lost his mother, but his father figure as well. Huh? Wolf? Wolf? He pleads with the spirit of the wolf for forgiveness, unsure of how he's supposed to go on living. Forgive me. I wasn't able to become a wolf. And because of that, I was the one to cause your death. But I'm still alive. Where do I go now? Wolf! But he is only met with a cold silence, lost and alone. Whatever happened on that mountain, whatever happened in the meadow, was covered up without a trace to remind those who had witnessed it. And one night, during a terrible blizzard, the gentle sound of a bell was heard. But the sheep in the meadow never saw Churin again. So this is a pretty depressing kids movie. My good golly gosh. Don Bluth once said something along the lines of kids being able to handle the really dark stuff so long as there's a happy ending attached. But what am I supposed to do with this, Mr. Bluth? Where do I go now? Bluth! One critic referred to Ringing Bell as a sort of quick punch to the face of childhood innocence. And while it may be that, I need to give this film praise for not holding back and treating its audience like idiots like so many other movies I've had to sit through. In fact, I think it's a fine kids movie. Not for toddlers, maybe, but kids who are mature enough to handle slightly distressing situations like death, death, and so much death. As long as your kids can handle The Land Before Time or The Lion King, they should be fine. With beautiful animation and sound design, for the most part, I'd recommend this movie to anyone. If you're really interested, I'd say go for the original Japanese dub. The pacing is a lot better, and it lets the movie have an atmosphere and moments without adding noise just for noise's sake. But I guess for a dub from 1983, it's not that bad. Oh, 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 oh,